Sandwiches are the perfect party food. They can be made ahead of time, and a little bit goes a long way. For my mini Italian club sandwiches, I start with toasted focaccia bread spread with basil pesto. Then I add thin layers of egg crepe, turkey, provolone, and bacon. Together they make my colorful mini Italian club sandwiches. The surprise ingredient in my mini Italian club sandwiches are the egg crepes. Three eggs, two tablespoons of heavy cream and salt and pepper. Beat until it's well blended. I coat a non-stick skillet with butter and then I add about a quarter cup of egg mixture. Swirl the pan to get a perfect circle. Gently loosen the edges with a spatula. There's no need to flip. I've made four egg crepes and I've placed a piece of parchment in between each just so they don't stick. Now, we're gonna take this focaccia. I've just lightly grilled my focaccia. We're gonna put the next one on. Take this top off. See how golden brown it is? It's beautiful. And that's what I love about using focaccia. Just makes it that more Italian. Now focaccia is sort of a, um, it's a little thicker pizza dough. And what they do is they have little dimples on top so you can top it with anything you want. This one's got some herbs and olive oil. And we're just going to spread a little bit of pesto on the bottom and the top half. And I just buy pesto, the grocery store. You can definitely make your own, but to make this even faster, just buy some of your favorite pesto. It doesn't have to be too thick of a layer. It also gives it a wonderful green color, which I love. Okay, so we'll start with an egg crepe, thin, airy, and light. See, fits perfectly. Next, we will do some bacon. There we go. We're gonna add five slices of bacon. And what I love about the sandwich is the colors, all the different colors and the different textures and flavors. So the smokiness from the bacon, the light airiness from the crepe. We'll add some turkey, add a few slices on this. You wanna keep it on the thin side. That way when you bite into it, all the flavors melt together. And you're not sitting there chomping on, you know, different thicknesses of different meats. Well, one more, what the heck, one more. Next, provolone cheese. What I love about the provolone, it's sharp and sort of spicy, picante, so it is yummy. And now I'm gonna take the top, I'm gonna add some more of the green pesto. See all the colors? That's what makes it look so pretty and elegant. We are gonna add one more little crepe. And see, once they're cooled, they're very easy to handle. You top it, there you go. And now, instead of cutting it up now, I'm gonna wait and cut it up at my friend's place. Just makes it easier to transport if I don't cut it now. Just wrap it in some foil, just like that, perfect. 